my Kuri Prize, I think, uh, is focuses really on people who have not only had good ideas, but have converted into mass mar market products, right, who have health enabled to where millions and billions of people can use those ideas. The prize today has value because of the people who got the prize. So the people who, uh, they are, you know, the pioneers in telecommunication. Almost every important pioneer is is a member of the of the is a fellow. So I think that brings in the 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 value of the prize. So I think it means a lot. It is a. a it's not as well known as the Nobel Prize, but I think uh, the impact of the Marconi Fellows or their inventions on society quite often is, you know, is far more than a routine Nobel Prize. Uh, so I think uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, I see Marconi Prize as a very, very important uh, uh, honor. I'm extremely grateful and humbled to be, uh, to be elected. I was new to wireless communications, I had a long history in, in, in sensor systems, radars and sonars, mainly sonars. And uh, an earlier work at Stanford dealing with antennas in, in wireless for direction finding. So I think the combination of my practical work in sonars and the theoretical work in, in direction finding was, uh, was a background and, uh, and I was involved with uh, some little experiments with the, with interference cancellation at Stanford, when uh, some uh, surprising results uh, trigger the MIMO concept. So the va the value of MIMO is that it expands capacity mm -hmm. now of spectrum, and uh, and here you have a resource by which you multiply the spectrum value. It made it effectively makes spectrum cheaper. We all benefit. Therefore, for for the kind of the amount of data we are download mm -hmm. into a phone somebody is paying less for spectrum than they would normally have without MIMO. I must say that uh, I am incredibly honored and uh, it's an honor not only for me, but I should also say that today uh, MIMO is everywhere. It's thousands of people, thousands. I think there are more than 1,000 PhDs easily. There are 14,000 papers. So there are tens of thousands of engineers and scientists who have built all this. So I'm only, uh, I was probably the spark behind it initially, but uh, the credit should go to the whole community which has brought this nice technology into, into practice. So I, I, I see myself as a representative of, of the big community and uh, very honored.